Our ordinance was um, uh, introduced in 1995 and took effect in 1996. And after that, we saw the IT advances and then we saw a number of uh, the big incidents. Uh, for example, uh, we had the uh, IPCC case in 2006. Uh, later, I will give you a bit more details about those you know, cases. And in about 2007, we, we the um, commission, started to have a review of the, the effect and the implementation of that ordinance. While during that time, we have another incident where the uh, press and the tabloid was taking quite abusive uh, action in relation to a couple of celebrities. And that brought the um, public in, uh, brought up their awareness of how important the, the privacy protection was. And the last one was the octopus incident in 2010. Um, uh, this is the, an octopus cat. It's just like uh, the oyster cat in London. And I'll explain a bit more about this. And this is like the, the final straw, and people, the public became really, um, not angry, but very concerned about their data. And this, is, this incident acted like a catalyst, and we managed to introduce the um, amendment ordinance to, to enhance and to strengthen our first ordinance. And this amendment ordinance had two parts. We, I will only deal with the first part, which had the direct impact on the business. The second part concerns about the um, enhancement of the commissioner's powers, uh, provision of legal assistance, and that will not concern the business directly. So I, I won't say uh, too much about that. Um, so I will mainly concentrate on this new provision relating to the direct marketing and the outsourcing of data processing. Uh, the new amendments took effect in April 2013. These are the areas I will talk about today. And this is the second part of the amendment ordinance that will not concern us today. The, in so far as the direct marketing is concerned, I can speak only from uh, my experience after I joined the commission. I could feel that um, the companies, uh, mainly big companies, uh, have been revising their regimes and adjusting their policy, poli um, privacy policies and practices. Um, in Hong Kong, just like any developed countries, we had a lot of outsourcing and engagement of data processor. Um, sometimes um, it, we, we have big prayer. The, with them, we have no problems. But it was the SME that we have, we have to spend a lot of time and effort to try to bring, their aware, bring up their awareness and help them. Um, the third part deal with the criminalizing of the disclosure of personal data without the data user consent. This is when like an employee or a, an agent who come across some personal data from the employer or principal. And without their knowledge, they use that data, uh, either for gain or for, for whatever purpose. We have criminalized that sort of activities now. 